for facts sake now it's a game show like no other as the world responds to the covid 19 pandemic we face the challenge of too much information related to the virus as some of the information may be false and potentially harmful so join us as we debunk misinformation and fake news here on our show about covid 19 by testing your memory and knowledge now each contestant stands a chance of winning 15,000 Kenyan shillings we have been joined by fantastic guests and oh so much fun we had here now joining us on the table today is uh, please tell us your name I'm Lennox Omondi. All right, and you are? Wellington Liomu. Wellington and Lennox are joining us on the table today. Please, let's get to learn a little bit more about them. I'm Wellington Liomu, ICT profession by training, but currently investing in food production. I'm Lennox Ocheng Omondi. I am the president of an actor's club. An actor is a club that does projects. The project aims at improving the, the 17 SDGs that are being proposed by the WHO and the World Organization. So just right now we are working on a project on food security. Basically the pandemic has affected me in many ways, socially, economically, and like I can't study this way, it broke my family because I lost all my business empire because of the COVID which we are not prepared for. Since I was servicing a bank loan, when the thing came in, we had to shut down, I had to clear the loans, I was left alone. Two, I lost all my close allies because they knew I was broke. I almost ran into depression. And thirdly, it broke me myself emotionally, but I just told myself, I'll never die. There's another day to live. The pandemic has affected me both positively and negatively. The positive part that being a student, we are getting the pleasure of learning online. That means we are, uh, we are getting the resources of uh, libraries, uh, the books in a form of an e-learning platform. And also negatively, find that most people in the society are losing their jobs. Most people are striving now to make food. It's uh, an impact that is really getting into them. And as a member, as a student, that is a very big problem because our parents are, are those people in the society, same to us also. Well, I wanted to share the experience with people out there because uh, currently I'm located, I've seen some who've gone to an extent of taking their own lives or they can't handle the situation. And uh, two, if I get the dimes, I can still divert them to my new business venture. Okay, I decided to participate in this uh, game show to help this to spread the fact outside there there are norms there are niches outside there that people believe in but uh, for me to participate here i'm participating to spread the facts that are here and also the facts that can help people to live not that you live on assumptions and uh, on norms that people are just saying Oh my goodness, absolutely wonderful. It is such a pleasure to meet the both of you. First thing, I just want you to give yourselves a round of applause, honestly, for the courage of for being here, for seeing yourself through this pandemic. And you at home as well, if you are struggling and you're trying to fight through this pandemic, well done for making it through this far. Now, what we do here is debunk misinformation. But before we get to the questions, uh, we're going to do the that red carpet section. Yeah, right, I'm ready for the show and I'm also ready to meet my opponent. There's a red carpet behind me. Let's take a walk on it. My goodness, it was just short of popping your collar, right? How do you feel about that red carpet walk? I feel like it's an awesome, an awesome feeling. An awesome feeling. And how do you feel about your uh, uh, opponent today? Are you feeling a bit challenged? Is it, is it like, you know, are you scared? I'm never scared of anything. I'm uh, never scared of anything. <laughs> On that note, please let's see his red carpet moment. I 
I'm very ready for the show. Bring the opponent. I'm game in. And it's my first time to walk on the red carpet. That's all there. You said that that was your first red carpet walk. I think you did well. What do you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think both of you did absolutely well. Now, if you're joining us for the first time, what we do on this show is share facts. Now, we're going to ask both our contestants questions and see who gets them right. On our first uh, round, each contestant will be asked two multiple choice questions. Each question is 10 points. Whoever wins the round gets 5,000 Kenyan shillings. And if you're watching at home and you feel like you know the answers, feel free to send them to social at africansensored.net. All right, are we ready? Now, on this show, all we try to do and what we try to do best is make, sh make sure that you get your facts straight. And of course, that means that you need to be paying attention. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the person who raises their right hand first. There you go. There you go. All right. That means that we're going to start the questions with you. All right. We're going to start with the first question. The following are challenges faced by COVAX in its vaccine distribution program. Which one is not? Okay. The following are challenges faced by COVAX in its vaccine distribution program. Which one is not? Is it A, climatic factors, B, export controls, or C, vaccine hesitancy? What's your answer, please? All right, are we locking down that answer? Yes, we are locking it down. All right, that is absolutely correct. 10 points to you. Climate factors have not affected COVAX distribution program. All right, are you ready for question number two? I'm ready. Great. Which one of the following states in the world was the first to begin vaccine rollout? I'm going to say that again. Which one of the following states in the world was the first to begin vaccine rollout? Is it A, the United Kingdom, B, the United States of America, or C, South Africa? Could you please get your answer? <laughs> Proudly giving his answer and I can see your opponent here is shaking his head because he knows that that is the right answer. The United Kingdom <laughs> is the first country or was the first country to roll out the vaccination program. Well done! Earning yourself 20 points on the first round. We are halfway through the first round and we're just about to go to our second opponent who's just going to find out or rather we're going to find out if he knows his facts. Let's stick around. Lennox has managed to bag himself. How many points, sir? 20 points. That is right. Wellington, how do you feel about this? Great. You feel great. <laughs> yeah, you feel great, great that he's gotten 20 points. Yeah, so that it's not cheap, so moral. It, yeah, um, yeah your moral, you're going to make sure that you get those answers right. Yeah. All right, are you ready for your questions? Very. All right, now we're going to ask the first question. The first question is... Which vaccine was the first to be rolled outside of trial? Have you got that question? Yeah. Yes. Is it A, uh, Sputnik V vaccine, B, AstraZeneca, or C, Pfizer vaccine? All right, we have his answer and very confident about that answer. And I am here for it because it is absolutely correct. Well done, Wellington. The Pfizer vaccine was the first to be rolled out outside of a trial. Down to question number two. 
Two of the statements below explain the impact of vaccine nationalism. Which one does not? I'll repeat that for you. Two of the following statements below explain the impact of vaccine nationalism. Which one does not? Is it A, less COVID-19 risks uh, for the states with the most vaccine? B, vaccine shortage in other parts of the world? Or C, self-defeating as none of us is truly safe until all of us are truly safe i can see he already has his answer wellington you're nodding your head <laughs> you're gonna lock down that answer are you sure about it very very sure very, confident very. because you are absolutely correct it is correct that is the one that is not true all right now before we move on to our second round here are the scores we have a tie what is going to be the tiebreaker? Which questions are we going to ask next? Do you at home have those questions right? Did you get them right? If you did, send those answers to social at Africa and censored.net. All right, now we're going to go on a short break and we'll be back with round two. student uh, studying journalism and a businessman on the table battling it out for 15,000 Kenyan shillings. Now, because he did mention that, I am going to give him this opportunity to bring back the show and say hello to you. Uh, welcome back to the second part of the facts for, for facts sake. Oh, fantastic. That is right. Welcome back. And we are down to round two. Now, because Lennox, you're the one who started off the other round, I'm going to yeah. start it off with you. Wellington, how do you feel about that? I'm comfortable. All right. Now, is this something that you learned, uh, this information that you have so readily available? How did you get to hear about it and know about it? Uh, let me say... It's through the school of hard knocks. Right. And the way pandemic has treated us, you learn to know what the facts are. Yes. About it. About it, right? By reading and going, uh, making sure that you know most of the information around it. Absolutely. All right. So can you say that um, um, you are confident with the next round that you're just about to go through? Very. I am here for it. All right. Now we're going to ask you uh, two questions each. Now, each question is worth 10 points. It's still a multiple uh, choice question question round. Uh, we're playing this round for another 5k, uh, taking the jackpot to 10,000 Kenyan shillings. All right, let's start with you, Wellington. Now, why is it important to vaccinate some people, priority groups, in all countries as opposed to vaccinating all people in some countries? I'm going to repeat that question. Why is it important to vaccinate some people, priority groups, in all countries as opposed to vaccinating all people in some countries? Is it A, it is not necessarily important as long as everyone is vaccinated equally? B, to enhance a cooperation against the pandemic through the fair distribution of available vaccines? Or is it C, to maximize on profits as much as possible? Can we please have your answer? All right, now he has given his answer as B. Are we locking it down completely? <laughs> that is absolutely correct. It is important to vaccinate some people in, um, you know, the priority groups in all countries opposed to vaccinating, um, uh, as opposed to vaccinating all people in some countries to uh, cooperate against the pandemic through the fair distribution of available vaccines. All right, now the next question. In order to detect immediate allergic reactions after vaccination, each person ought to be monitored on site by the medical personal, uh, personnel, sorry, for how long? I'm going to ask you that again. In order to detect immediate allergic reactions after vaccination, each person ought to be monitored on site by medical personnel for how long is it a at least 15 minutes b one hour or c one minute could you please have your answer all right the answer is in wellington i'm telling you you are on the roll because you have managed to secure yourself 
40 points. That is absolutely, absolutely correct. In order to detect immediate allergic reactions after vaccination, it takes at least 15 minutes. All right, how are we feeling right now? Yeah? Confident, you know, comfortable. You know, you got this. Ah, I love it. All right, now, do you have anything to tell your, um, uh, your friend seated right across you about his round? To pull up his socks. To pull up his socks, eh? He's not ready. How do you feel about that? Um, it's a challenge and I'm ready to take it. Yes. I'll pull my socks. You will pull your socks. You will take that advice, eh? <laughs> All right. Now, are you ready for your questions? Yes, All right. Now, your first question. Yes. Is it recommendable to get vaccinated against COVID-19 at the same time as getting other vaccines? Is it A, yes, it does not matter. B, available research recommends that one should space the vaccines 14 days apart. Or C, it is okay as long as the vaccines against COVID-19 is administered first. What's your answer, please? All right, are we locking that down? Yes, we are. Completely? Yes, completely. All right, now, uh, Lennox, you unfortunately did not get that correct. The correct answer is B. Available research recommends that to get vaccinated against COVID-19 at the same time as other vaccine, one should space uh, the vaccine 14 days apart. All right, now, did you know? Okay, uh, we're learning that now, <laughs> 14 days apart. But I was going to say that you were nodding ahead. You knew that you're supposed to space them 14 days apart. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> the confidence on this table. How are you feeling about that? Um, there's still time. We're still in the game. That is that is the positive way to look at it. All right. Now your second question: Is it recommendable for one to take medicine before vaccination for the purpose of trying to prevent side effects? Is it a yes? Painkillers are useful in elevating side effects such as headaches. B, the choice is based on one's preference. C, no, medication should be reserved to relieve post-vaccination side effects. We have an order on this side, but let's get your answer, please. All right, now his answer is C, which is absolutely correct. Well done, Lennox. Now, no medication should be reserved to relieve post-vaccination side effects, bringing your total score to 30 points. All right, that's just 10 points. So one question behind uh, Wellington. You can catch up. How are you both feeling about the rounds? Well, uh, yeah. It's a bit hot, but uh, it's getting tighter. <laughs> yes. And uh, I need to do a much, much better. Uh, yeah? yeah? All right. How about you? I'm comfortable. Yes. <laughs> I think we'll take it back to the wire. <laughs> to the wire. We'll take it all the way. And I think you're doing great. All right. All right. Now, <laughs> we're going to go on a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be back with round three. here with Lennox and Wellington and let me tell you as Lennox said it is hot here on the seat Wellington has been able to buy themselves 40 points isn't it yeah. and Lennox is just behind with one question that's 30 points but we can bring that up because we are down to round three now what happens in round three is each question is worth 10 points however if you are unable to answer the question then we pass the question over to the other person now you both get five seconds to answer the question. That's five seconds to answer the question. This round will take the jackpot to 15,000 Kenyan shillings. Are we ready? Uh, now the person who says I first will start the round. I first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's perfect. Now we're gonna start off with you, Wellington. 
Two of the statements below are recommended steps to reduce pain and discomfort when you get the first shot of the vaccine. Which one is not? A. Apply moderate heat to the area of the shot. B. Apply a clean, cool, wet washcloth over the area. Or C. Use or exercise your arm. I'm laughing because you're ready to answer already. Do you have your answer? All right, that is absolutely correct. Now we're going to move to, on to you. Alex, you're smiling. Why are you smiling? <laughs> you also have, he had the answer already. All right, you're also going to have your answers as well. All right, now the next question is, to reduce the discomfort from fever, a post-vaccination side effect, it is recommended to... I'm going to ask that again. To reduce the discomfort from fever, a post-vaccination side effect, it is recommended to A. Take painkillers before vaccination. B. Drink plenty of fluids and dress lightly. Or C. Bundle up and cover up with a blanket. What is your answer, please? All right, now you have your answer. Unfortunately, it is incorrect. Passing it on to you, Wellington. Do we have an answer, please? Okay, he had already typed the answer. That is absolutely correct. Well done. It is drink plenty of fluids and dress lightly. All right, now we're going to bring the question that is yours. Which statement is false in relation to getting the second shot of a vaccine against COVID-19. Which statement is false in relation to getting the second shot of a vaccine against COVID-19? Is it A, side effects after the second shot may be more intense than the one experienced after the first shot? B, side effects are normal signs that the body is building protection? Or C, side effects after the first shot mean the second shot should be avoided at all costs? What's your answer? All right, we are locking it down. Is that is that that's the answer that you're sticking with? You're sticking I'm, to that? I'm done with it. You're done with it. That's the one. All right, you're absolutely correct, Wellington. All right, we're going to move to you. Uh, your question is. In attempt to combat vaccine nationalism, a global plan to allocate vaccine was established. Which option presents the body in charge of this? I'm going to ask the question again. In attempt to combat vaccine nationalism, a global plan to allocate vaccines was established. Which option presents the body in charge of this? Is it A, COVAX? Is it B, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention? Or is it C, the Pharmacy and Poisons Board? What's your answer, please? All right, that is absolutely correct. All right, now we are done with round three. Well done with Wellington. How many points have you accumulated there? Honestly, that is 40, 50, 60, 70 points for you. And you have also been able to, you know, up your score, isn't it? You have how many scores? <laughs> 50 scores. Yeah. You have 50 points for you, Lennox. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to say goodbye to you. This is the end of the road for you. However, thank you so much uh, for sharing, sharing your experience and your story and yeah. answering these questions, especially the ones that you got right. How do you feel about today's competition? Well, uh, <laughs> it was a nice competition. Yes. Yeah, a good competition to learn. In. Okay. Yeah. All right, I love the fact that you mentioned that there was some learning involved there. Thank you so much for joining us, Walitalia. I mean, sorry, Lennox, let's give him a big hand clap. Wonderful. Go ahead. Thank you. All right, now, Wellington, which means that you are closer to that cash, right? <laughs> go to those um i mean to handing over the cash we have just one more thing that we need you to do are you ready for this yes. 
we're going to ask you a couple of questions. Now, this is called the quick fire, where you answer three questions out of five correctly, right? And you only get one pass, meaning you can only say pass if you don't know the answer only once. Should we go ahead? All right, question number one. COVAX is an acronym for, are you ready? Yeah. COVAX is an acronym for A, coronavirus anticipated extremes, B, COVID-19 vaccines, global access, or C, COVID-19 variant expertise. All right, we're locking down that answer with a lot of confidence. As always, you are right. Well done. We're going to go to question number two. In which African country did the COVAX do its first international delivery? Should I ask that again? In which African country did the COVAX do its first international delivery? Is it A, Ghana, B, Nigeria, or C, South Africa? <laughs> All right, you are absolutely correct. The answer is Ghana. We're gonna to go to question number three. Which among these does not explain why the COVID vaccine was developed so quickly? Which among these does not explain why the COVID vaccine was developed so quickly? Is it A, money, resources, and the public backing? B, the vaccine technology already existed, or C, COVID-19 is not a deadly disease. Can we please have your answer? All right, that is absolutely correct. We're gonna go on to the next question. Question number three. When did COVAX make its first international delivery of the vaccine? When did COVAX make the first international delivery of the vaccine? Is it A, December 2020, B, September 2020, or C, February 2021? Could you please have your answer? All right, now that unfortunately is not the correct answer. The correct answer is February 2021. You look a little bit disappointed there. You knew that answer. <laughs> now, question number five. A strong immune system will prevent you from contracting COVID-19. A strong immune system will prevent you from contracting COVID-19. Now, is this true? B, false? Or C, research is still ongoing. What's your answer? That is absolutely correct. Well done, Wellington. You have managed to answer four out of the five questions correct, earning you a total of 40 points above, you know, over what you already have. How do you feel about this? <laughs> you know, like Abisa, you're very happy. You knew this was going to happen, didn't you? I had the confidence. You had the confidence. Yeah. Not only did you have the confidence, you had the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely. And we do hope you at home have been able to learn a thing or two about COVID-19. That's what we're all about. Now, before we go on, I have a question for Wellington. But before I ask you the question, I want to show you something first. See if that's going to... Change your answer. We have this check for you here. Come and join me on set as you hold it, feel it, smell it if you must. We want to make sure that you know that this is your money and you've won it. However, I want to give you the chance to be able to come back and stand a chance of doubling this to 30,000 Kenyan shillings. All you have to do is come on another episode and answer more questions. How do you feel about that? Are we going home with the money or are we coming to double it? You can go home with the money. You'll go home with the money. All right. That is fantastic. It's all yours. You may take it. Thank you for joining us, Wellington. We do hope you at home have enjoyed these questions. Please let us know what your answers were. Send those to socialafricantensor.net. I'm your host, Claire Karatu. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Oh no, we can't. Yeah, there you go. Fist pump. Fist, yeah, that, that's better.
Congratulations on that. That's fantastic. <laughs> I feel good being a winner. Actually, it's so amazing. And I'm always happy when I win something that I've set my sights on. It was a learning game show and I've gotten to learn a new a new concepts and new facts about COVID-19. And also it doesn't matter being losing or doing something, but it matters how you play the game. My, my opponent, Lennox, for sure he was, and I believe he has a bright future in such things come next round. It was a nice show. The opponent was uh, well off because he managed to beat me up, and that's a good competition. It's a, it's a healthy one, and I congratulate him on his win. What I've learned about COVID-19 that I've never known before is the first date when the first vaccine rollout was done. I thought it was uh, December, 20th December, that's 2020. And actually it's February, it was February 2021. I've learned that uh, after taking the COVID vaccine, you need to dress lightly and drink much of the fluids. Uh, the reason why I had to forego Moving to the next episode is that uh, I feel like I'm exhausted and two, I have to sacrifice some room for the young talks. Given a chance next time, I'd like to participate in the show again and uh, come back stronger. Actually, the show has been marvelous. I've seen building confidence in front of the cameras and more so to the viewers. I know you're going to learn a lot from it.